<laughs> it's like a rave. Hello everyone, my name is Megacam Games and welcome back to Abe's Odyssey. We left off when we were just come past the stockyard and we get, came to the scene. What are these lights going to tell me? Sneak in and out of shadows. Right. These things are mine. If I touch those things with the character, he will blow up into 700,000 p pieces. Shut up. You didn't see me. Shut up. Can he see me? I am. I'm, I'm a silhouette, so I should be in the shadows. Oh, fuck me. Okay. I know that next time. Damn it. Ah. I knew, I, I knew it was a bit too risky to be out, out of the shadows like that, but I was still a silhouette. What's this? You see, there's just that one star up there, just like shining. There's no other stars in the sky. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Nothing. I think last time I took a step just too far out. <gasps> Shit! Okay. <sighs> okay, so now I've got to jump from this shadow to this shadow. So when this guy goes that way. Come on, come on. I'm literally just waiting for him to go out of the, out of the frame. That was MLG shit there by Abe. Ha, 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 yeah! Ha! Hi! Oh yeah! Uh, right, okay. Damn! Okay, I've got a plan. And then I jump through here? Okay. Oh! I only just noticed that there was a slig there waiting to shoot me. I jumped just in time. Literally, that was so close. Oh, fuck. Turn around. Snarling at me, you bastard. Okay, I think I've just got to wait for the right moment. And I can run past them and get to that ledge. You see how they're catching up with each other? So now... I think will be the good, best time. There we go. So I just basically keep up with them. Shit! Oh my god, I am the best. Have this. <laughs> it's the way they make that noise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're there. We're there. Okay. Right. Now all we need to do is wait till he comes. Oh no. Oh no. There was nothing I could do to stop it. Oh, there was nothing I could do to stop it. Shit balls. Let's just go this way for now. Boing, 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 boing. Right, okay, I think I need to, no, I think I know what we need to do here. Run that way. Bye bye. We need to avoid these bastard bats. Ah. Okay. Okay, guys. Before I go any further, I just want to clarify that the fact that I am going for the good ending at the end of this game, 
but I might not save enough of my dockens to achieve that ending because I'm not going to bother with the secret areas. If they're too much of a hassle, I'm not really going to bother with them. I'm just here to play the game through again at the on the like of the main campaign basically. So, if there is any secret areas, I will give them one or two goes and then if they get a bit too tedious, that will be when I call it a day and I'll just try and move on and save the new dockens in the campaign. Jeez. I'm stepping on your toes, literally. Okay, so I think I know what the idea of this is already. Shit! Yes! Take that, you little meat-eating bitch. Is this another secret area? Shit, 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 shit. Run! Run, Madokan! Go be free! Shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have I gotta open that portal first? And then make a run for it. That portal better be open, it still is. Yes! Done like a pro. You see, if they're like that, guys, if, you know, just one Mudokan or something like that, and, and it's fairly easy to save them, then I will do it. But if it's just way too overly complicated, then it'll just waste my time and I'll get frustrated with the game. So... <laughs> Shit! Okay, and then I just go like this and run backwards and follow me this way, doggy. Hey ya! Do not wake this one up. So far, so good. Wait, what? Oh, I've got the rocks, haven't I? Yes! Of course! Oh, shit! Fucking hell! I might have just happened to throw a rock at its face instead of the bomb that was located behind it. So that was a clever move by moi. Yes! That is exactly what I wanted to do. Come on! Right, okay. Now all I need to do is get more rocks. Detonate those mines with the rocks. And then we are out of this scene. Finally. Jesus, no. No, 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 no. Don't go this close. Right, okay, so now... We can just edge forward, explode, edge forward, explode. There we go, and now move on to the next scene. Right, so that means we've moved on to a new scene. When that little yellow head comes up and the screen goes all woo, that means it's either a cutscene or a new scene. Slugs. When the strangest thing I saw, a big moon was before me, and its face. <laughs> was my paw. That's weird. Then I fell. <laughs> Down a cliff. You'll find that this happens a lot. Abe is always falling Expect down something like a fucking pinball machine. When some big face appeared and said I was dead. Said our land was changing, was imbalanced at best. He told me my fate was to rescue the rest. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Had been sacred once. 
But that was before Rupture Farms <clears throat> turned them into a lunch. And they live in the temples, and that's where they still nest. And facing these creatures, well, that was my test. Okay, so this is where the game starts to get a little bit more interesting because instead of just fighting the slags and those dogs, I can't remember what the dogs are called, instead you've got to fight scrabs, which if you can see right in the background there, there's a little statue of a scrab, and then on that rock up there is a statue of a parabite. Now, we have to fight these two things. Well, not really fight, because Abe doesn't fight. All he does is run. Okay, so if we just get past these rocks, there we go. Um, okay. Yes, okay, right. I, I, don't ask. <laughs> Just don't ask, I don't know. Okay, so... Can we take possession of this guy? I think we can. The best thing about these... The best thing about this part of the game... There isn't as much technology, obviously, because of the temples, so... There's a lot more possession that can happen. Bitch. Okay, so, we can now go through this shit. We can go through the door. Uh, whoa, okay, where are we going? To roll, press X while running. Right, okay. Okay, stand in front of the wall and press up. Okay. So if we come into this one, I'll come out the other one. Right. That'll obviously be a puzzle at some point. Okay. So. Whoop. Okay, obviously in this, um, in this little scene with, with, in, within the temples, the sacred temples and the sacred creatures, the Moodokans are free. They are not actually slaves of Rupture Farms, so we will not be saving any of the Moodokans for a while until we get back to Rupture Farms. So, if I'm not saving any, then that's why I'm not saving any. A few paramites and scrabs inhabit these lands as millions have died at our own lost hands. Sacred they are to us who know, but face them he must to continue their show. Shry skull shall come from their spirits' unrest to aid the victor after this quest. Right, let me explain. Shry skull is a combination of a paramite and a strab that Abe will inhabit the powers of to destroy rupture farms. Scry uh, Scry Skull, Scry Skull, I think it's called, um, is the only thing that can destroy Rupture Farms with its with its unbelievable power. So that is what we are in search of. Chill, dude. Chill. Wait, I think there was a way to get past this one. See, he does this. Dude, I, I've just, I've just, I've just beat the game. I have just beat you. I don't need to actually interact with you. Whoop! Ah, oh, come on. Why don't you go straight in the hole? Jesus. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. So triangle, triangle. X, X, triangle, X, fart. X, X, triangle, X, fart. Mm -hmm. okay. These things are f 
kind of hard to remember when you think about it. What's I say? Single blue hand shall bear the brands and unleash the power to destroy false lands. Cloak of ministers will fume and alarm as the Shrike Skull awakened holds the flesh farm. As I was saying before, Shrike Skull is the Shrike Skull. Shrike I think that's how it's, how it's pronounced. Shrike is the only thing that will destroy rupture farms. Okay, so I need a song if I remember rightly. That was not supposed to happen. Shit. So if I... Oh, Jesus Christ, babe, get under the thing. Just having a nice time there. Can I, can I just, you know... Sorry about that. Just didn't want to disturb you. Now I just feel bad. <laughs> the guy's fucking going crazy over there. I don't think I need to remember that song. I think the game does it automatically as you uh, enchant the bells. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's like a rave. Okay, so now if I start chanting, I can possess the bells. And then... The possession plays the song on the bells. Yeah. It does it itself. I don't actually need to do anything. Okay. Moving on to the next scene. Oh! Shit! Oh my god! Where did you come from? Like, why? Why? What? All I wanted to do was run freely in the lands of the temples, and you just... I nearly did it again. Jesus. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so... Two up. Oh shit, I said hello. Duh! I pressed the wrong... Shit. Okay, but I think I've got it. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. Two up. Two down. And then, triangle. X. Triangle. X. Fart. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay. How about sorry for catapulting you right between the eyes when you were just out for a morning stroll? And in case you haven't seen so far, that in the bottom corner is a paramite. They kind of remind me of Predator. I don't know why. It's, I think it's the face. They've got like a, a mouth like a spider and just a normal body like a dog. It's just so weird. And Scrabs have obviously just got no arms, but they look like centaurs with big, long, bird beaks. It's so weird to explain. So, we come to our first choice in the game. Paramonia is where we fight Paramites first. Scrabania is obviously where we fight the Scrabs first. So, what the point of this is, you pick which one you go into first. You're gonna have to go into each one anyway, but it's which one you want to pick first. So we we have, we can't go in them yet because they're not actually activated. Yeah, they're not they're not actually activated yet. So when I activate them, I'll have to make the choice of going to. I'll have to make the decision of messing around with the scrabs first or the paramites. So let's just say if we read this. With power acquired, the blue rings will sing to chant, release the havoc they bring. The the Shrikel's power is given to he who is lucky enough to return from Paramonia's Scrab. So basically, I've got to return from these those two places after completing what tasks are set to me when I'm in those places. Then I will get the power of Shrikel, and I can destroy all of these bombs 
when it wants to come back on I can destroy all of these bombs and these slicks at once and then I can carry on and take the power back to rupture farms and put it out of business forever that's basically the main premise of the game okay so since since I think they are the easiest to deal with I'm gonna go for paramites first Living in the wild, how they were before I was a child. Then I saw what we did, ignored their cries, cut them up for a pair of my pies. Okay, just a little explanation of paramites. Paramites on their own will not attack you. They will, as long as you are looking at them, they will not attack you. They are. They are massive cowards if there's just one of them. As soon as two of them come into this scene, if one of them, if one of those birds over there was a paramite, then it wouldn't attack. But if there was two if those two birds or three birds were all paramites, they would come running for me because they're not cowards. They're like pack hunters if you got if you know what I mean. So if there's just one on its own, I'm absolutely fine. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Great shot, fantastic shot. Okay. Okay, so this ringing that bell will summon the Elam. We call it the Elam. And it's basically this thing that you can ride to. Uh, yeah, I mean, let me just suck it off first. Okay, yeah, well, but you can basically ride the Elam over bigger jumps than Abe can actually reach. So, I'm either gonna fuck this up or I'm not. Ah! Okay, there was a 50 50 chance of me fucking that up. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, give me the feckin'. Swing thing pulley. Uh, how do I get off you? By the oh, Jesus, how do I get off? There we go. Let me just fucking slap him. <laughs> the one thing I always thought about this game was hilarious. When you try and mount the Elam, he looks like he's about to suck him off before he gets on. And when he's about to dismount the Elam, he looks like he's about to smack him over the back of the head. I always thought that was fucking hilarious when I was a kid. Okay, so if we... I'm so done. See how annoyingly tactical this game is? Because I had fucking Bigfoot stompy stompy behind me. They actually seen me. Right. Now you, wait. wait there, do not follow me, I don't care if you start crying, don't follow me, because so now everything will be fine. Okay, so, yes, finally, what the hell, ugh, great, so I've lost you. Wait, no, no I haven't, I've got to just do this. And then it they go all over him and... Jesus, no, no, stay away from me, stay away. Stop, 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 why have you got to come at me? Why have you got to come at me? Why, why have they got to come after me? Stop it. Wait, wait, stay there? Jesus. Yes. Okay. Finally. Okay. I'm just going to suck you off for a second and then let's go. Okay. Here goes. I 
think that's it. It's not even over yet. Jeez, there's a lot more to go after this. Fuck it, I'm just gonna do this. Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. Basically, this guy needs to be possessed, and then I need to put him down there to kill the other slick. And then I still use this same slick to blow up the mines. Boom! Bitch. Okay, so now... And uh, I think this this one. Okay. So now all I do is jump over. Okay. I'm not taking any chances. I'm just gonna do this. Whoop. Move one step. Come down. Whoop. One step again. Move down. Whoop. Okay. One step. Pull the lever. And now the windmill thing. Yeah. Okay, now I need to go down. Get me, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Follow me. So we can't go down any further? Let's go up. Okay, let me just uh, let me just kiss you all better and suck you off for a minute. There we go. Okay. Now, let's move on. So we need to just basically run past that beehive. Shit. There's going to be jumps. There's going to be jumps! That I'm just plainly going to miss and die from. Shit, okay, 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 jump! There we go. Okay, jump! Okay, 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 jump! There we go. Now jump! And jump again! And jump! And jump! And jump! Oh my god! Oh my god, we actually did it. We actually did it. Oh my god. I did not expect to make that at all. Let me... No. No. No way. Uh, please tell me that was meant to happen. I will just drop down. Okay, so basically... I don't know what pulling that did, but... Okay, so what's this? So that's triangle, X, X, triangle, circle. Okay, so I'll have to remember that. Triangle, X, X, triangle, circle. Okay, so now that shoots me right up. Oh, okay. Right, so now we can go somewhere. Let me just suck you off, and there we go. Whee! There's just no point to me ever getting on this thing. I have to just get off straight away afterwards. Okay, so I knew this password before. Password. Yeah? Okay. Yes! Thank you, thank you, Mr. Green, Madoc and Matt. Okay. Come on, follow me. Whoop! Follow me, follow me. Come on! Don't be scared of heights. Okay, so we go all the way down. And guys, this is a place that I'm going to end it. Unless he tries to kill me right now. No, okay, so this is a place I'm going to end it. We should be getting well into the Paramite area by now. And soon we will be actually at the Paramite Temple. Where we will first be experiencing life around the Paramites. I hope you're all enjoying this playthrough so far. I certainly am. It's a fucking stress ball at some times, but 
yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.